Hi everyone, here is a basic tip you need to know on how to apply your blusher on your mature face in the right place to get that lift and subtle vibrance. I bet you thought there was no trick to applying blusher, but this is a really great anti-aging technique. Blusher is fabulous for adding that gorgeous flush of colour and it's fantastic at helping to brighten sallow or tired looking skin. But applying it in the correct place as we age is super important. And if you like this video as you're following it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that I can keep sharing my beauty tips for us ladies who are over 50. So as we age, everything we have just starts to go south. Everything. That includes our faces. They start to sag. Often you'll see articles talking about applying blusher to the apples of your cheeks. However, as we get older, that is not a great place to apply your blusher. Why? Because when we smile, our cheeks are lifted. And when we're not smiling, they drop. That is my resting bitch face. That's terrible. So when you're younger, your cheeks, your apples of your cheeks stay nice and high. But as I said, when we get older, everything sags. And the idea and the goal of makeup on mature skin is to lift the face up and out. And that means blusher should ideally be applied on your cheekbones. Now, if you're unsure on how to locate your cheekbones, I watched a great little demo the other day, just place a finger on the top of your ear and your thumb on the tip of your nose and then slide them across and you will find your cheekbone. Now, I'm going to apply some blush now. I'm using a Laura Mercier very pretty peachy colour here, which is really nice with my warm skin tone. And I use a technique called the two finger technique. The two finger technique or trick is really easy and all you do is place your two fingers by the side of your nose. I hope you can't see, I need to do my nails. So the idea is that you don't take the blusher any closer to your nose than this area here. And that helps to give that lift, which is what we're after. Now I'm just, we'll apply some blusher now and be careful when you apply your blusher that you do not overload your brush because it is much easier to add than remove blusher or try to diminish the look of it. So I just use a sweeping motion and then I will just circle that, making sure that I don't bring that blusher any closer to my nose than my two fingers. I don't even know if you can see that. Check in the mirror. I'll put a little bit more on than I normally would because I really want you to see the placement here. And that is just going along my cheekbone. Now, if you'd like to, you can always add some highlighter to give that really illuminated glow. This particular blusher that I've just used already has a little bit of glow in it, so I would not add anything more to this particular blusher application. And I really hope that you can see that there. That's given me that really pretty glow and flush of colour. Now what I am going to do is apply some to the apple of my cheeks or one cheek so you can see the difference. So just remember that when you're adding colour to the face it can have the tendency or if it's deep to push things back and also it can drag things down if placed in the wrong place. Now, I'm going to, I'm probably going to look like a clown. <laughs> I'm going to add some blusher to my apple of my cheek. Now, I know that is exaggerated, but can you see what that has done to my face? 
it has immediately made this area well, not only dark and deep, but also dropped that whole side of my face down, which is exactly what we mature ladies do not want. And it's also had the tendency to make that part of my face look a little bit hollow. And in fact, I have naturally quite chubby little cheeks. So it's quite interesting to see that. So if you don't have volume in this cheek area and you bring your blusher too low, it's going to make that area look really hollow and drop the face. So just remember the two finger rule here and just keep it to the cheekbone area for a beautiful lifted effect. So I am going to go and try and do something with this cheeky cheek here that's looking not so great and even up my blusher. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have found it interesting, please let me know. If you've got any comments, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know any other tips and tricks you would like me to cover for us ladies who are over 50. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.